What is your favorite thing about our relationship? I'm trying to get emotional. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oof. We've lived so many lives together, not just as siblings, as friends, as colleagues. Like, I'm so grateful that we've been able to do so many crazy things together. Hi, I'm Ben, uh, and I think behind me is my sister, Narelle. Am I correct? Wrong. I knew it. Hello. Hi, I'm Narelle, and behind me is my brother, Ben. Are you ready, kids? Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> we can't continue. We don't have the money for that. First question, here we go. How much savings do you have right now? I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you describe our relationship in three words? <laughs> I want to say like I'm the girl version of you. Ben but girl. Uh, yeah, Ben but girl. What do you think is the most important quality in a sibling's relationship? I think it's important to have nonsense. Not in the sense of like, it's a nonsense relationship, but we get to have nonsense fun together. Like to be a friend, right? Yeah, no. And it's like, I feel like no one takes my nonsense like you do. <laughs> what is your earliest memory of us as siblings? We were playing at the playground and you flew off and cut your head. And then we had to go to the hospital for stitches. <laughs> oh yeah. And I remember that day because it's I, right think, I think you also made me eat sand. Like you just dared me to do it. And did I did I? it, and it was like the worst experience. It was like really disgusting. You're welcome. What is one thing we can disagree on, but can still respect about each other? Climbing is cardio. Climbing. <laughs> Climbing is cardio. Is not cardio. Climbing is cardio, cardio, guys. Even if we disagree, we'll just be like, oh yeah, yeah, cool. I see your point. Yeah, you know guess, why? Because like, yeah, colleagues have to learn that, I suppose. And there was a lot of disagreements in the band. Actually, our dad like set us down one time and did like a whole HR meeting on how to like get along with each other <laughs> for the sake of the band. A shout out to dad. He's a great dad. I mean, he really tries his damn best, and I love him. He's a cutie he's a pie. Super solid dad. What do you think was the biggest challenge we faced together, and how did we overcome it? Wow. <laughs> Let's go. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I can name one big one. Yeah. Have we overcome it? I don't know. <laughs> I think it was a very long one. Hug. Love you. Head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Head hug. Head hug. Yeah, this is great. Um, it's almost undeniable. I think the hardest thing we've had to do is Learn how to be a family unit with a big part of it missing. Losing mom gave us something to fight for. Yeah. Gave us like deep understanding of the importance of family, of sticking by each other. And I'm so grateful for the experience. I mean, I always think that grief is never something you overcome, but you kind of just grow around it, right? Yeah. And we've always just tried to find ways to just like grow around it with each other. Have I ever hurt you? And if so, how? Oh. I, I feel like I know. What do you, okay, wait, why don't you, why don't you answer <laughs> oh, that shit. first? See what you say. The, the thing that, that, I, that keeps coming back to me that I wish that I didn't do was um, how distant I was to you when we were growing up after mom passed. Oh my God, that's what I was going to say. I, I wasn't sure how to be an older brother. You know, in an environment in a boarding school, I was also trying to process grief and how, yeah. to, how to act and feeling like we were so different at the time as well. I just didn't think about it. And then it only occurred to me later on how much of an asshole I was. I formally apologized on camera. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that actually means, I mean, I never needed an apology from you because I think you are also suffering. I mean, like it was mm. really tough. What's one thing you always wanted to tell me but never had the courage to? Actually, okay, I think that you had been trying to tell me for a very long time not to be so angry. And you said it <laughs> in multiple ways. And you always said it like in a fun way and loving, but... Don't angry lah. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, wow, don't How be a hater do lah. You don't need... I remember you said this to me. Don't use the word hate. It's very strong. And, and that stuck. Because after that, like, I was like, yeah, actually, why? So extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Why so extreme? <laughs> but I'll say it again, like how, how proud I am of you for like how much you've grown. Aww. And I've always said this from the start as well. You're one of the most creative people I know. Mm. Um, we're so alike. <laughs> 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 no, but really, like I, I'm, I'm always in awe of the work you do. Even when you're doing your own music and stuff, I was always like, this is so like intensely original and it's so Aww. you. The awareness you have of yourself right now is like crazy and um, I couldn't be more proud. What do you think our relationship will be like in 10 years? I would want like the same kind of closeness we had growing up and that to carry on to like our next generation. It would be so fun to see the difference. Can't wait.